these free crypto projects could make you a millionaire with small amounts of money invested. However, they do not carry insane risk like certain other cryptocurrencies that I mentioned on my channel do. These are free, quite well-established cryptos. A lot of people trust them and they have quite a good track record. Therefore, the risk element isn't zero, but it's certainly lower than a lot of other projects. So before we get into it, I need to let you guys know this video isn't financial advice. Also, subscribe to my channel if you guys are brand new. I would really appreciate it if you join me um, with my channel and my community. I upload every single day, keeping you guys updated with the latest and the greatest low cap gems. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Now, nothing in crypto is truly safe. However, certain projects are more safe than others. That is certainly something which we can say. Um, we know full well that any crypto can crash. And we had that with the FTX situation. FTX went to zero. Luna went to zero. Um, you know, or basically zero with FTX. Um, and these are perfect examples of what people would consider safe top 10, top 20 cryptocurrencies. Therefore, I believe the smartest thing to combat these rug pulls, these scams, these collapses would be to diversify your portfolio to a large extent, therefore minimizing the chances of being overly reliant on one project. If you're overly reliant on one project, the chance of your, pro of your whole portfolio going to zero obviously increases. So diversify uh, diversification in crypto, I would say, is one of the most important industries to diversify in. So the first project on this list is a pretty simple one, uh, you know, to explain. And that is Singularity Net AGIX. AI is now a clear trend in crypto. Everyone collectively agrees on this. We saw a major pump with the AI coins in January and February. And I think most people now collectively agree that it's going nowhere. Yes, it's seen a cool off, but I think people will be talking about AI projects as we head into the next bull run, just as they talk about gaming projects, just as they talk about metaverse projects so it's certainly a narrative to be tracking for this bull run i believe singularity net could promulgate a safe 10 to 30x i know that may sound quite conservative to some of my viewers who are maybe watching when i first got into it um but yeah it has rallied don't get me wrong but a 10 to 30x on this one seems you know very 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 doable um just a reminder to you guys i was getting into this one at 40 million dollars in market cap it went all the way up to $750 million in market cap. So if you were a patron of mine, you would have been getting in at those very, very low prices. The link is in the description. Also, I apologize if I sound like I'm talking from my nose. It's because I have a cold, but we will continue with the video. Um, another benefit of Singularity Net is as a huge, huge ecosystem, which is growing. This adds an extra layer of safety with the diversification factor. Like I just said, the more you diversify out, the safer it becomes. And this is certainly the case with Singularity Net. You get added benefits because of all the different projects under its wing. If Hypercycle becomes a major, major crypto, you'll do well. If Sophiaverse does really well, you'll also do well. So it's a win-win either way, essentially. Um, so Singularity Net would be a project on my radar. Uh, No-brainer for me, very safe project. Um, you know, 260 million in market cap. It has seen a huge decline since this major pump, but still, guys, look at that chart on the uh, on the yearly. It's looking very, very bullish. It just has been having a, a downturn, a kind of support level, and I do believe we will see it come back up as we head into the bull run. And if there's any catalyst in AI, you can bet that Singularity Net is going to be one of the first ones to benefit from it. Okay, so on to the next project. We're going to be looking at Arweave. Now, Arweave is another pretty safe cryptocurrency to, to be buying. It's in the storage sector, which is a sector which isn't too sensitive to uh, news or anything like that. It's quite a um, stagnant, in a way, sector, which a lot of people believe in and understand. It's nowhere near as volatile as things like gaming or meme coins um, because it's more boring, obviously. But storage is unequivocally one of the best use cases of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency um, as a whole. That's the whole point, point of blockchain technology is to store data. Um, so storage cryptos are certainly amongst the best favorable narratives um, in any cryptocurrency bull run in my eyes. It's very future proof. Gaming can come and go. Music can come and go. AI can come and go. But I feel like everyone's going to want a place to store their data in an encrypted, safe and secure manner. 
And that is obviously what our weave are doing. Second to Filecoin in terms of that storage niche. So if it does go to Filecoin's all-time high of the last bull run, you're talking a 33x on your money, guys. That is significant, significant gains, right? And you can see that here with a market cap of a 33x on our weave if it goes to the level that Filecoin went to of $12 billion. Now, you may be thinking, Archie, why on earth would our weave go to the same level as the top dog, Filecoin? And let me just make this straight. Even if our weave goes to the level that Filecoin was last bull run, Filecoin could still be maybe this bull run, it goes to $30 billion or $40 billion market cap, right? And our weave is only 12. So we could be in a situation where our weave is 12 billion and Filecoin is 40 billion. And Filecoin would still be, you know, around four times bigger, three or four times bigger. So just because I'm saying it could go to the level that Filecoin went to last cycle doesn't mean it's going to overtake Filecoin. It just means it could get to the level that Filecoin was previously, which is a very important point um, to obviously uh, distinguish. So Arweave, no doubt, is a solid project. Really, really good tokenomics. I really like seeing you know, tokenomics like that. If we go on the chart here, we can see this was a huge player last bull run, um, topping out in November 2021, which is a really healthy sign. You don't want a project which topped out in April. You want a project which topped out in November 2021 when most of the other cryptos did. So this is a really healthy sign. And I think we are going to surpass these levels, this bull run quite significantly, to be honest. One of the added benefits to Arweave is this idea of permanent storage. You store your data for up to 200 years on the blockchain um, rather than kind of like a pay-as-you-go model or a subscription model. So I really like that. People are just going to want to store some data and forget the hassle of you know subscriptions or recurring payments or anything like that. So very good idea. Also, it has a wide case of use cases, right? Not just for personal data, but also for things like enterprises, institutions, and companies. Think about all the different companies in the world who have had data breaches and hacks and things like that. Um, so they're going to want to have their company databases on a really safe and secure thing where none of their data can get hacked. Furthermore, our weave has actually had geopolitical benefits, some would say. There's been censorship around the world. People's or you know journalism has been censored. And those journalists have gone to our weave to publish their, their information, publish their journalism. And obviously, governments cannot censor things on our weave. So that's a very good added benefit in terms of you know geopolitical sentiment. So that's a really good thing to have. Um, so yeah, our weave for me is a safe project. Uh, I would be looking on the ambitious side of that 33x number. On the conservative side, I would say a 20x would be extremely doable. So our weave, no doubt. Arweave is a great project. Third and finally, we're going to be on to the more riskier option here. This is the one which could absolutely skyrocket in price. This is the moon bag on the list. And that is Hello Token. Hello, like I said, is more of a risky project, has a smaller market cap size. And these numbers are sta staggering, guys, if I can show you here. If Hello Token goes to the gala all-time high again of last bull cycle... Not the next one, but last cycle. I would be expecting Gala to maybe do double or triple what it did last cycle. If Hello goes to the Gala all-time high, you're talking a 287x, almost 300x. If Hello goes to the UFO Gaming all-time high, a project which some of you guys may have never even heard of, you're getting a 72x on your money. That is incredible. Right, the fact that if Hello goes to... UFO Gaming's all-time high, you're getting a 72x, I think is absolutely ridiculous because I think it's going to happen. I think we are going to see that 72x. Um, so my kind of target with Hello would be between a 75 and 100x. And that's being quite conservative. That's being quite conservative, if I'm honest, because, you know, it could well do a 200x and surprise a lot of us. But I want to be on the more conservative side 75 to 100x goes to the market cap of UFO gaming to me seems very realistic. If you guys don't know what Hello is, it's a solid entertainment style crypto and institutions and uh, hedge funds are looking to invest in entertainment style cryptos, by the way. They're not ignoring this narrative. They definitely see it as a narrative to target. 
you've got games on here. You've got Doge Dash tying into that Dogecoin narrative. You've got Dash of the Dead. I believe like a Walking Dead maybe style game. I, I think maybe not. Uh, certainly a kind of Subway Surfers style game. You can see here Dash of the Dead, uh, 3D Competitive Runner. Really cool name. And this is the major thing with this is the major thing with Hello Token. Their Killer Whales Sink or Swim TV series. You've got the Altcoin Daily guys going on there. You've got loads of crypto influencers. You've got Wendy. Loads of big names are getting on board and going on as a judge. So this is going to get a lot of eyes. When this comes out, I'm certainly going to watch it. I know a lot of my friends in the crypto space are also going to watch it as well. So huge marketing and a really intelligent strategy from the founder, um, Paul Caslin, who, by the way, guys, is a serious player. This guy's had huge links in Web2. He's worked with people like Rihanna, I believe. He's worked with some really big names in the Web2 industry, including, or you can call it Web2, like Netflix, Spotify, these types of companies, these types of industries he has worked with and had huge success in it. So he's coming into the web free space, uh, coming into the web free space, coming into crypto, and he's got a plethora of experience in other industries. So for me, this is a major selling point with Hello. The founder himself, he's from the UK as well. I really believe in it, guys. So to finalize here, let's talk about the potential gains that we could expect with these free altcoins. Now, AGIX, I'm going to go for a 20x. Some of you guys will say that's very conservative. I think it's quite realistic. On the conservative side, you could say 15x. On the ambitious side, you could say 40x. So I'm going to go in the middle and say a 20x. Arweave, 25x, I think is very realistic as well. Um, and then Hello Token, 75x, I would say, is in the realistic range for Hello. So that's going to average out at a 40x your money. Therefore, to become a crypto millionaire, you will need to invest just $25,000. I know many of you guys watching, that is very, very achievable for you. Some of you guys watching, it's maybe not. Maybe you've only got $10,000 invested in crypto. Maybe you've only got $5,000. If that's the case, watch some of my other videos on more risky uh, portfolios. But what I would also say, slow and steady sometimes wins the race, guys. You don't want to go too risky and potentially risk losing all the money that you've worked hard to save up for. Sometimes it's better to just say, well, I've got, you know, 10K. I would be happy if I turn my 10K into 400K, right? Rather than the million. But some of you guys, you have 10K. That's not too much money to you. That's what you're willing to risk. You can go full high risk and go into some of the micro caps. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, check out that link in the description. Join the Patreon. Um, this is the page that you will see. There's so many great benefits coming your way if you decide to join this group, such as buy alerts, sell alerts, stake alerts, access to a huge Telegram group full of like-minded individuals with the VIP Plus tier, and many other benefits such as daily webinars where I discuss educational content, how to make money in crypto, how to do certain things, and I review your portfolio. So if you want me to kind of review it on a one-to-one -one basis, you can get that with VIP Plus tier. If you want to be even more serious and you want to actually book a one-to-one -one physical call with me um, for half an hour or an hour, you can join that VIP Boss tier and you will be able to do that. We can go over any of your crypto needs, whether you want me to look through your whole portfolio coin to coin, or you want me to review a specific crypto that you're looking at, I can do any of that for you on that Boss tier. And you get that priority responses in terms of DMs. So thank you guys all for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.